Forgotten Van Helsing game on PlayStation 2. When it comes to marketing, games based on movies aren't particularly popular. There are a number of factors that contribute to this, but translation takes the number one spot. Take something between one and two hours long, and expanding it out to eight or nine hours does not generally work out well. More often than not, the end result is lifeless and devoid of any kind of value or delight. However, one game that has succeeded to massively overcome this flaw is Van Helsing a PlayStation 2 game. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Find the view from here, most enchanting! Helsing 2004. If you have watched the movie, you will find it very easy to understand the plot of the game. Add a few more stages, some new speech, done by the same characters no less, and you've got yourself a polished version of the game's primary story. Hugh Jackman reprising his part as Van Helsing is, we must admit, is pretty delightful to hear. Other performers may be less enthusiastic about reprising a role for a flop. Nevertheless, for those unfamiliar with the story, Mr. Helsing is a vampire hunter who focuses on Dracula. In general, it's quite great stuff. The Wolfman, Frankenstein's Beast, the psychopathic Igor, Dracula's demonic brides, and the vampire master himself are among the notable boss adversaries in this action adventure, which throws you as Hugh Jackman's central hero from the film. A beast hunter with a secret past sends you through around a few stages, packed with plenty of things that engage you. You'll employ Van Helsing's different superhumanly endowed weaponry, as well as his close range knives to fight these enemies. The gameplay is fast-paced and generally rewarding, culminating in a straightforward but enjoyable game. This is probably where people become the most opinionated towards this game, because Van Helsing feels much like Devil May Cry, which is an iconic title. Van Helsing absolutely excels in terms of mobility, action, and overall game flow. It's satisfying to hit and blast objects without becoming boring. The locations in the game are big enough that you won't be overwhelmed by attackers. It's also worth noting the upgrade system, which is simple to use and offers sufficient variation to keep the player engaged. The advancement is the last point we'll make in terms of gameplay. This is a game in which you seem to be, like you're gaining strength as you progress. Even now, it appears many titles are having difficulty with this. Take it from us, when it comes to Van Helsing, the gameplay is perfect and completely ideal. The game does not include any full motion video segments from the movie, but it does use the game's 3D graphics technology to reproduce some of the film scenes and animations. Hugh Jackman's voice and similarities are used in the central character, and the the storyline of the game is similar to that of the film. This is a single player, continuous action adventure game in which you must fight your way from one stage to another by shooting or slinging your weapon quickly. constant motion of battling many monsters in the Transylvanian backdrop is what keeps Van Helsing exciting, even with all of the weaponry. The game looks fantastic and has an actual narrative to weave into the gameplay thanks to the movie license. There are also a variety of enemies to contend with, each with their own combat style, keeping the game going forward until, well, someone dies. For those who haven't seen the movie, we ought to hold a few secrets. Van Helsing, as mentioned, like Devil May Cry, lets players perform Form some complex combinations, first by launching opponents into the sky or smashing them to the floor, and then killing them off with a barrage of bullets. The art style has been raised to a greater direction. Licensed graphics and characters taken from the film enhanced value. There are many distinct creatures of various shapes and sizes, as well as enough eerie environments for them to fill. The setting is ideal for the action, with so many towering and contorted buildings and the late 19th century Transylvanian charisma to go up 
about. There are two challenge options available from the beginning, and once you've completed Van Helsing the first time, you can restart utilizing the weaponry techniques and optional hacks you've already uncovered in the newly available hard difficulty level. Overall, you can probably get approximately 10 hours of gameplay out of this game. However, it will likely only last you around three quarters of that time. Van Helsing starts out with two guns that fire as swiftly as you can hit the attack button, as well as his rotating saw-like blades. Many other weapons, such as a shotgun, a crossbow, and twin scythes, will be discovered throughout the trip. With the exception of the relatively slow-firing Thunderbolt gun, the weaponry all have a unique feel about them and are mostly effective. Some firearms, to the game's credit, are rationally best adapted against specific adversaries. For example, the upgraded shotgun blast deals exploding damage damage, which is particularly effective against the stone statues you'll encounter later in the game. And in the meantime, the crossbow shots are extremely effective against lightly armored opponents. Using the direction pad, you can easily change firearms in the middle of a combat. The controls of the game are just right. The movement is never totally fluid, but thanks to the auto-aim option, accuracy aiming is never a problem. Furthermore, there are always enough of bad characters to shoot and evade, which maintains the story going forward. To provide a little diversity to all of the cutting and killing, the game includes some minor puzzle solving and pushes you to venture off the usual route in search of a few undiscovered locations. Meanwhile, it's wonderful that there are several boss encounters against the game's primary antagonists, albeit these fights are very simple and entail slamming the enemy with all you've got while hopping over or dodging their strikes. The sound quality, like the images, is supported by the film link, which includes some of the same actors as the film and professionally made music. The audio complements the graphics design by providing a good setting and some ambience. With exciting thuds and loud bangs, the sound design brings the game to life. Finally, we'll talk about replay value. Is it worth your time to finish this game when you've already completed it? We'd have to say a resounding yes. For what it is, an action-adventure battle thrill rush, the people have spoken, and they have truly enjoyed the game. That said, we believe this is a title that you could complete once and be content. It offers a fantastic onset that is worth playing over and over, but that's true of any game. The introduction should be enough to persuade you to buy it. So, after all is said and done, is Van Helsing still a name that stands the test of time? Yes, absolutely. If our introductory message didn't already give it away, this game is a rare treasure. Van Helsing outclasses its time. This despite being a little dated in some areas and taking off others, i.e. the movie. So, if you ever come across this game, do yourself a favor and purchase it. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone.